is my primary school picture and I remember that outfit that I'm wearing, the purple one with the yellow dots and I remember my Puma Cats trainers because I really, really liked them. <laughs> my name is Jenny Smith and I'm from Fallowfield in Manchester. I grew up on an estate so, you know, it could be quite rough at times. But I had a happy childhood. I was the youngest out of four, and the other three hadn't gone to university. And I was bright, I was quite bright. So my dad had always sort of instilled in me education, education, education. Education is the key. That was actually the first photo I'd seen of me as a kid. So it was quite nice to know that my parents made sure I still had a little bit of swagger. My name's Ilias, and I'm from Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm from a working class background, um, so my dad worked as like a shop assistant and my mum uh, was at home looking after all of us. And long term goals like university seem miles away when you're literally like having to work two part time jobs when you're 16. In terms of me and my friends, we talked about uni, but none of us, I don't think, got there through the usual route. I was the first in my family to go to university and the first time I extended to go to a Russell Group institution. The culture was ridiculously different. For example, going into my first networking thing, I was just a bit like, what on earth am I doing? I turned up, obviously, in like completely the wrong outfit to what everyone else was wearing, because I was just a bit like, oh, I thought this was like casual. And everyone was a bit like, yeah, no, but casual means formal. When I was in college doing my access course, my tutor said to me that the University of Manchester does not want single parents of estates to be their students. Obviously being that person, um, it just made me more determined to, to get here. The University of Manchester is probably the only place in Manchester where I've heard so few Mancunian accents. Like, as soon as I got here, people were like starting to like struggle to understand what I was saying. The culture of those universities can marginalise working class students quite a lot. Some had been to private schools, and quite a lot had been to grammar schools. And um, sometimes just feeling that, you know, this is all a facade, I shouldn't really be here, everyone else is much more intelligent, much more qualified than I am. So being working class and coming to university, I knew there was going to be issues with finances. Like, I always knew I'd, I was going to have to find a job straight away. I didn't realise the fact that being working class was going to make me feel a little bit excluded in some ways, of not having like the privileges that some of my friends had. Um, I was having a meeting with my academic advisor, um, and we were discussing sort of the type of things that I might like to do for my dissertation. And they were telling me about someone else who wanted to do sort of something similar, whose father was a consultant and whose father had got them access to a lot of patients and she was able to do a dissertation on that. And that you're basically saying, you know, if you were as privileged as this other student, you could have done the dissertation that you wanted, but you're not. So isn't that a shame? Which was like, thanks. <laughs> It's fantastic that this institution has 42,000 students, but we need to ask serious questions about how many of them are directly from the communities around the university. And widening access is one of the few ways that we can start to make sure that we're supporting these people. We all have the right to an education. We all have the right to be fulfilled. And that it isn't just about your wealth, but that it's about your worth. Um, and for me, it's as simple as that.